Whether you're in the backyard camping or even powering your entire home, it can be done with a small box that you can carry around with you and you won't even know when the power goes out. These guys are definitely a preferred choice. They make power stations and also solar panels. They're really efficient and eco-friendly devices. They use lithium iron phosphate batteries that can be used and recharged thousands of times, maintain 80% effectiveness. These are those solid state batteries people are talking about. These systems have overcharge, overvoltage, short circuit, overload, low temp, and over temp safety features. Also, it seems like all these power stations run sine waves, safe for all devices. You can use an app to monitor your power system. Very convenient. Blue Eddy are the standard for what is currently available, so let's see what they have to offer as of today. The AC180 is on sale right now for $800 and it was $1,000. It can hold about 1.1 kilowatt hours and outputs at about 1,800 watts with a peak of 2,700 watts, which will start up most items you use. It has 11 output ports, four ways to charge. It can charge to 80% in only 45 minutes. This is a medium-sized power station weighing about 35 pounds or 15 kilograms. Pretty easy to pick up with built-in handles. You can expand this station too using expansion batteries up to 4.2 kilowatt hours is about one seventh of your daily power usage not too bad it has a five-year warranty plus 10 years of expected lifespan this seems like they're not waterproof or dust proof so be careful with this model the ac60 is 650 dollars and was 700 it's ip65 rated dust proof and water resistant great for outdoors this is smaller than the ac180 at about 0.4 kilowatt hour storage and a wattage output of 600 watts and a peak wattage of 1200 watts has seven ports, including wireless charger plate. Charge it four different ways, fully charges in one hour. Only weighs 20 pounds. Subgradable using expansion batteries up to two kilowatt hours with a warranty of six years. Next from Blue Eddy, the EB3A, it's only $209 and it was 300. It has 0.26 kilowatt hour storage with an output of 600 watts at 1200 watt peak surge. You can charge it four different ways or combine a couple ways for two different other ways to charge it. It has nine ports, including cell phone charging plate on top. It'll charge at 80% in 30 minutes. This doesn't seem to be expandable with expansion batteries. It weighs just over 10 pounds. Nice small unit, maybe a little bit older though. It only has a two year warranty. The Blue Eddy EB55. Price is $400 with 0.53 kilowatt hour capacity and outputs at 700 watts with a peak of 1400 watts. It has 13 outputs and a cell phone charger pad on top. It weighs about 17 pounds. Next from Blue Eddy, the EB70S is a step up at $500 with 0.71 kilowatt capacity, an output of 800 watts peaking at 1000 watts, I believe. This seems to be another older model possibly. It has 12 ports and a charging pad on top. It weighs about 21 pounds. Now we're getting into the bigger power stations from Blue Eddy designed to power your whole home. These can be used as backup and hooked directly into your home power system that's connected to the grid. It can stay charged and immediately turn on when needed with what is referred to as UPS backup or uninterrupted power supply. You won't even know the power went out. The EP900 combo from Blue Eddy comes with minimum of two B500 batteries. With the two batteries, it's $10,300, but it comes with a storage of 9.9 kilowatt hours, which is about one third your daily use with an output of 7,600 watts. You can run 120 or 240 volts. You get 10 years of warranty with this. You can hook it to the power grid and even get paid to produce power. It's IP65 water and dust resistant, and you can expand this up to 9,000 watts output in a storage of 20 kilowatt hours, which is two thirds of your daily use. An efficient home and lifestyle could easily be powered by this system. These are meant to hook to your home so they don't have features like outlets and plugs for plugging in devices. The AC500 comes with a minimum of one B300S expansion battery. The cost is starting at $4,800 and give you a storage of three kilowatt hours and output of 5,000 watts and a peak of 10,000 watts. Pretty impressive for the size. This unit has 16 outlets and ports. It looks like it has two charging pads on top, cell phone. You can use split phase when using two AC500s or two B300S expansion batteries. It has a four year warranty and you can expand this system up to 36.8 kilowatt hours, which is 12 B300Ss, seeding your daily use by quite a bit. The main AC500 unit is 66 pounds. This is a four year warranty. 
Next from Blue Eddy is the AC200 Max. The AC200 Max costs $1,600 and gives you storage of 2 kilowatt hours and an output of 2200 watts, peaking at 4800 watts. You can expand the system to 8.1 kilowatts and about one quarter of your daily use right there. The AC200 Max weighs about 60 pounds. You get plenty of charging ports, plugins with this unit, and two cell phone charging pads on top. It has a four year warranty. Next, we're looking at the AC300 combo. It's a step up from the AC200 Max, costing $2,600 with a minimum of one expansion battery required to purchase the unit. I'm not sure if this means the main unit won't run without the expansion battery, but they're just not selling it by itself. This one is three kilowatt hours, spanable up to 24.5 kilowatt hours with 300 watt output and 600 watt surge. If you have two of these or two expansion batteries, you can run that split phase with this one. It has plenty of charging ports and outlets, including two charging pads on top. The weight of the main unit is 50 pounds and the expansion batteries are close to 80 pounds. This has a four year warranty. Then we got the EP500 and it's currently on clearance for a price of $4,000. Has a rolling cart design. It seems to be different than all their other models. It weighs about 170 pounds. Has a storage capacity of 5.1 kilowatt hours and an output of 2,000 watts. I'm not 100% sure on what this can handle for peak surge, but it might be 4,000 watts. It's being discontinued, so maybe it's an older model or just not as efficient as a new lineup. Has plenty of charging ports and outlets, and also has some cell phone charging pads on top. So those are all the units that Blue Eddy is currently offering as of today. There are two more power stations that haven't been released yet called the AC2A and the AC70. They are smaller units and will likely be pretty cheap for what they offer. They seem to be able to charge much faster through solar. I'm going to keep an eye out as they release and check pricing and try to share it in the video description. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the solar panels that Blue Eddy has. They have a total of four choices. They're grade A monocrystalline silicon solar cells, all offering 23.4 conversion rate. Optimum operating temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. They have built-in kickstands for portability. They're durable, splash-proof, IP65 rating. They have an ETFE coating for extended life. Easily plug them into your power station depending on max solar input of your device. I believe these are all standard MC4 connectors. Keep in mind that your solar panels may vary in output depending on conditions and placement. All these panels have one year warranty. The PV420 is the newest, it's 420 watts for the price of $850 on sale right now, normally $1,000, making it $1.97 per watt. In six hours of prime sunlight, this can produce up to two kilowatt hours. The Blue Eddy PV350 is 350 watts for $750, putting this setup at $2.14 per watt. These are portable, foldable, and really easy to carry. The Blue Eddy PV200 is 200 watts and it's $450 right now, putting it at about $2.50 per watt during ideal conditions. The last solar panel Blue Eddy has right now is the PV120, 120 watts, priced at $280, giving you about $2.35 per watt. These are all the solar panels Blue Eddy currently has to offer. Look at the power stations organized by cost per megawatt hour. You have a range here. Anchor seems to be right in the middle. EcoFlow and Blue Eddy, the cheapest, and Jackery seems to be the most expensive. Now taking a look at the solar panels organized by cost per watt. EcoFlow is right there on top of Blue Eddy. They have some of the best deals, including $1.53 per watt. That's amazing. Then when you get on the more expensive end, you're looking at Anchor and Jackery. They seem to be the most expensive solar panels right now on the market, as far as these companies go. This data sheet took hours and hours to put together. I really hope it helps you guys out. Now on this channel, I'm always putting in hard work to save you time and money. I genuinely want to help. I never use AI or anything like that to create my content. 100% hard work. So please do that. Click on the thumbs up thing. Leave a comment and subscribe. And most importantly, click the bell icon to be able to see new videos when I post. I'm also a professional photographer and producer. The money made from the work that I do helps to fund my channels, keep food in my fridge. I've helped thousands of people by creating videos for their products over the last 10 years. If you're a brand or if you have questions, you can email me at reviewcentral.media at gmail.com. If you have a product review inquiry, sample product for testing, or want us to film a video for your team. With over 400 awards, including the YouTube Silver Award, I produce videos for TV channels like Home Shopping Network, QVC, made content for William Shatner and NASA, 
I film videos for Anchor and hundreds of other brands. And when you work with me, you work directly with the channels, so every penny you spend actually goes to the production budget. You don't pay any middleman. I have a wide range of pricing to accommodate pretty much anyone. We can even do some videos for free sometimes too, so please reach out. I'd love to help. See you in the next video, everyone. Leave a comment if you have questions or want us to make a video about a certain topic or product. I really hope this video about power stations and solar panels helped you out making your decisions. Thank you.